Leaders discuss the war in Ukraine. The CBC's Briar Stewart visited an underground school in Kharkiv. It's just another way students have to adapt to a conflict that's been going on for more than two years. I'm in Kharkiv in northeastern Ukraine in one of the city's underground classrooms. They have five different schools that are set up in metro stations. In fact, if you look through the glass here, you might be able to see uh, the track below me. Uh, there's been trains coming back and forth here through the morning. Now, even though it is the middle of the summer, you still have classes going on uh, for young children. So we're going to come into this classroom here. Inside here, you have children who are five and six years old, and they're basically in preschool. Twice a week, they come here to the metro station they learn in classrooms that have been set up and in addition to learning you know the, the beginnings of math and and the alphabet uh, there's also a psychologist on hand here who can talk to the children I mean this is a city that has come under heavy bombardment in recent weeks by Russian missiles and bombs uh, and despite that you still have 1 million people living in Kharkiv including tens of thousands of children so in addition to the schools that are set up in the metro stations the city recently built a brand new school that's six meters uh, below the surface. It's in an undisclosed location in the city. And come the fall, they hope that hundreds of kids will be able to attend school in person there. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Kharkiv.